What's up, YouTubers? It's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar, and I'm on a battery changeout. If you watched the last video where we charged up an Evolt, this is where the Evolt was destined for. This is a completely off grid hunting cabin. It's a really cool spot, and I'll show it to you. Right now, me and Antonio got to unload this precious cargo. And then we're gonna get into the battery change out. Should be pretty quick. These battery change outs. It's a good little honey hole for me. So I'm taking you in here first and show you the old lead battery bank. This is an off-grid cabin. Hunting cabin. And these lead batteries have had it. They've been in about five years. The crowns weren't very good anyway. That's right, folks. Crowns were not very good. So we're getting rid of the flooded lead acid. It's 2020. We've got a lithium battery all the way upstairs. There's one of my old vents, Zephyr vents. See that Zephyr vent right there? It's a battery vent. That was cool. I'm gonna go hook up this lithium battery while Antonio Antonio suffers down here. You love it, don't you? Mm. Mm. All right, guys, so we just got the Magnum back up. She's actually charging. I got the midnight charging. Dumping 3,000 watts into it. Pop the cover of the Magnum real quick just to show you guys what's under the hood. This is an early installation. But, uh, my... There's the 100 amp breaker feeding the midnight. There's the solar coming in on that 63 amp. This 2 amp breaker feeds the battery monitoring kit, which is behind there. It's the BMK. And uh, this system is for a hunting camp. This was for a vent fan. And uh, this system is up and going with a new Evolt. This was the, what we all hoped for when we were doing the lead acid batteries back in the... Back in three or four or five years ago that we'd get a more efficient and more powerful battery and now we have it with these Fortress Evolts and other lithium ferrophosphates. But the Evolt at 18.5 kW at 360 amp hours at 48 volts is the most energy dense and powerful battery available right now in a single battery where you don't have to do a bunch of parallel nonsense. Here's that spec sheet. And I've actually put in, I think I put in five of these. One, two, three. This is number five in, in less than a week. Not because I'm putting them in that fast. I just had them all lined up. But I am doing a lot of these batteries. So, go take a look outside at the old lead battery before she goes to the scrapyard. Whoops. So, I kind of thought when I first started my business, it would be all hunting cabin. I mean, there's been a few, but not all of them. This is crazy, man. I'll show you guys some of the kills. This, this cabin, I can't remember the story, but it's like a couple hundred years old. And they moved it. There's Bucky. That didn't come from North Georgia. But they moved this cabin here. He said he shot that one in his backyard. This guy's been on some hunts, obviously. Some amazing looking hunts. And uh, there, there's Timon and Pumbaa. Am I allowed to show, show your collection here? Sure. All these were taken on the property, right? <laughs> <laughs> these ones are here? No. Look at that mean old guy. He got him a bird. Kitty. Where did that kitty come from? Mm, behind the pond back oh, there. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And this big guy up here? That elk? Yeah, he in was Mexico. in the backyard. Mexico, huh? Those two caribou are from the Arctic Circle. My wife sent me there for my 50th birthday. What a sweetie. And uh, that deer from here, that, that one's number seven in the record books here. That deer right there? That one right there. The guy in the, in the middle? Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of girth in his neck. 
He does. Actually, the biggest of the deer is that one right there. He was a horse. Oh, my he was. A, that guy right there? He weighed, I don't know how much, 225 or something. He was destined for the beef jerky machine. Just pulling, <laughs> just getting him into the, under my little, oh. yeah, he's, I my mean, little he's, vehicle, my little, um, I've got a Kawasaki mule. Man. He makes his like, rack look small. His neck does. Yeah. He's like an elk with a, <laughs> with a deer antler. But he's got a pretty rack to him. Oh, no. It's, I'm going to shot him with my bow. It's kind of, it's is, like, it, is it symmetric? On, no, it's one point on the inside and two on the one side. Yeah, it's got that little fork on the inside. Yeah. It's a respectable yeah. buck. Are these guys too? From yeah, you? my son shot those too. And I shot, he, my son shot that one back there. That one right there? Mm hmm. This one over here, when I shot him with my bow right there. I saw the oh, you four points on that side, and I'm like, oh man, nice, good, big. Oh, and then he was sure deer. He was single side. And yeah, and then I, and I do this, I'm like this, doing this, and I'm like, what's wrong with that? It was literally when the season opened in, uh, in September, and it was following. I saw a little fawn about this big. It's like, it was just a tiny little baby, and it was sneaking up behind it. It was going to eat that fawn. That mean old kitty. Yeah, and I'm like, no, you're not going to eat that deer. So I popped him with a bow. I love mm. that Yeah, that's cool that these cats are around. This one, this one didn't, this one actually broke. But there's a bunch of them around here? Every time we plow? Really? We turn them up. <laughs> really? But the so this is a solar array we installed. Man, I can't really remember how long ago it was. This beautiful log cabin with a pond. But I remember this kid was wanting to work for me. And I had him dig in. I had him dig in the combiner box in, which you can see the... There's that midnight shutoff over there. And I said, how do you like being a solar guy now? He was a little bit disenchanted. Look at that. Machete. That's not good. Do some printing real quick. Eso sí, sí, daña. No deben tener árbol en sus paneles. This is an old, I believe these are Solar World panels. Yeah, these are some old Solar Worlds. And this is a Schletter. Back when we were in one of the last Schletteronias. But this is, uh, this is when Schletter told me that I could do two posts. And look how far they told me I could cantilever which it's held fine. They wanted me to do two posts and then they wanted me to put these cross straps under here. And I said, no way. I came back and put another post in and we hand mixed this concrete. That was really fun. But this is the, this is a Schletter. And uh, we always talk about why Schletter went under. They had a really complicated post head, man. That was a complicated, complicated set up there so but it looks good still looks good doesn't doesn't have hardly any corrosion good old schletter parts so technical want to talk technical real quick we've got let's step back and look at the panels here we got one one two three four five six seven eight panels so that's two strings or two rows of eight so it's 16 panels they're wired in strings of four and then i've got each string coming back all the way into this combiner box right here and then i'm combining those strings Oops, come on, gimbal. I'm combining those four strings of, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, those four strings of four. 
And I'm coming back into the house probably on a number six, underground style. So this is a nice little off-grid system that has withstood the test of time. It still works awesome. And that's one of the ways you know if your systems work is by checking to see if they're still working. Or calling me to tell you whether or not it's working. Here's the panel for those of you that would want to know. Solar World 280 watt mono. No longer available. Solar Worlds are not around anymore. They were cool panels. I liked them. And there's that beautiful pond. There's that cool off-grid cabin. So, a lot of hunting cabin. I guess I've had a lot of interest from hunting cabins. But I haven't done a ton of them. But I've definitely done a few. Beautiful pond, I'd like to drop a line in there. So many beautiful places on this planet. I'm just in Georgia. Cool little log cabin. This is gonna be my cover shot. Guys, if you're just tuning in to this video, I'm Johnny Valentine's Game Solar, and I appreciate you watching. This channel's about solar, all things solar. Mainly, it's been about lithium batteries. Whoa, camera, come back. Mainly been around about lithium batteries and grid tie hybrid systems, but this is a nice little off-grid system we've had for a while. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me live my extravagant solar lifestyle so i appreciate you watching thank you care please like and subscribe take care and thank you very much I'm, this is johnny valentine with gain solar signing out thanks for watching antonio is ready to go he's on this is the dark side of solar right here look here this is heading to the scrap yard heading on home to the scrap yard baby headed to the scrap yard son Oh, lead don't bring a whole lot at the scrapyard, but it's got to get done. Heading to the scrapyard now. You're going to take that lead and I'll put your money down. Cash on the barrel head for a little scrap lead. Heading to the scrapyard now. That's the dude's generator. It's like a 60 KW commercial Kato light monster Jenny. And uh, luckily, it doesn't have to run it now because it goes lithium battery. So now we're back to the worst part of this job. This job has a terrible road situation. So here in Georgia, there are a lot of hunting camps, and they're down really difficult roads. And this guy decided to pave his road with granite chunks. Is not cool on my vehicle. I'll show you show you the chunks in a minute. Oh, oh! I love a good piece of graveyard stone. Big chunk of granite in the road. It's so good for my suspension. So I paved his paved his driveway with granite. Just, if I didn't have a gimbal, you guys would be feeling it. Look at that. A nice piece right there. You don't have any. No tienes ganas para robarte uno de esos. Look at that piece right there. Oh man. Por ahí vi uno bueno, grande. Here we go. 15 minutes later, we're still on the road. Oh my goodness. I didn't have a gimbal. Yeah, those ones are too big to pack in the road. Love it. Thanks. You think this is bad for my truck? Huh? Oh. 
Huh? Para eso están diseñados los carros. There's some good granite. Man, I, I just want a piece for a souvenir. Damn. This is a shaky road. I don't know, man. I, I don't think you should have paved it with granite. Wow, check it. Wow, wow. Big old solar farm, man. Big old solar farm.